Good morning guys, welcome to another tutorial video from Parts Factory Australia. Today I've pulled together what's left of a Ford Escape or Mazda Tribute, very very similar car, same engine bay. And what I'm going to be doing today is demonstrating how to fit our Parts Factory Australia replacement overflow bottles to four cylinder or six cylinder cars. It's a very very straightforward process and let's get straight into it. Now, just for your information, the six-cylinder and four-cylinder overflow bottles are the same. The engine may look different, but the pipes all come out the same locations, that being from here and one from the bottom. And they mount from the same bolt points, one there, one around here on this side here. It's a very straightforward job. It doesn't really require much previous experience. Um, it's going to take us about 10 minutes to get the job done, but Probably do it a little bit faster if you didn't have a camera in your right hand. All right, let's get into it. So you want to start with the top and bottom bolts. It's already loosened. Strip into those bolts. One here. Righty tidy, lefty loosey. Chuck your bolts out of the way. Now guys, before you take off this radiator cap, you want to make sure that the engine and the cooling system has depressurized and the, it's, not a, it's not a hot, explosive bottle. It'd be very, very um, catastrophic if you would open this cap while it was still hot. Take the cap and move it out of the way. Now that your two bolts are out of the way, you want to start with this top hose clamp using some adjustable pliers. Now be gentle with this pipe, you want to fully adjust your pliers out, nice and gently, and just give it a bit of a rotate, and you'll, you'll feel it actually unseize the plastic and the rubber hosing moulds together over um, 10 or 15 years of use. Just pull it off nice and gently. and put that pipe to the side. Next step is remove this pipe from the clip down the bottom here. It's easy. And pull up on the bottle. The bottle will rise up. You will see there is one more pipe here on the bottle. Grab your pliers, put them back down into the smallest position. Squeeze the hose clamp, pull it back. Do the same step with your pliers, put the bottle down, put it to the mid-section. Put it to the mid-section, grab the pipe nice and gently, twist, you'll feel it, you'll hear it, disconnect, pull the pipe off. And there is your overflow bottle. You will notice that the remaining coolant leaks out of the bottom of the bottle. Now I wanted to demonstrate to you the difference in quality and design of these bottles. Now you can see the bottle in my right hand or your left, it doesn't have a sensor. Now four cylinders tend to not have a coolant level sensor, but the six cylinder does. Now that doesn't mean that this bottle won't fit a four cylinder, this plug will just not do anything, you can tuck it out of the way. Other than that guys, you can see here, these bottles tend to become very brittle over long periods of use. This white section here, you would find that that would probably be the most vulnerable spot. When excess pressure builds up in the cooling system, it will pop and then you will lose coolant and overheat your car. It's very important to stay on the top of the condition of your overflow bottle as it is the key component for your cooling system. As you can see, they, the designs are exact replica. Comes with an aftermarket brand new radiator cap. And it's a very rigid and solid design. Very similar to the OEM part, if you ask me. Right, so it's time to reinstall the new part. 
very straightforward, follow the same procedure in the opposite direction. Let's get into it. Start with the bottom hose. You can flip your bottle upside down, install the bottom hose, gently. Grab those pliers that we were using, squeeze the hose clamp. Guide it on gently, try not to rush this part. You'll be surprised, you can cause a lot of damage by rushing this part, not just to the bottle, but if this pipe doesn't go on straight, you may have troubles with sealing. Nice and straight, nice and rigid, flip the bottle back over. Now, six cylinder models will require you to plug this plug in here. For now, for this four cylinder model, we're just gonna tuck that plug to the side, remove all this wiring out of the way. Now you notice this bottom leg, it slots in down below. At the same time, you want to slide this, this hook here onto this bolt and slide that top hole into this bolt. I'm being summoned. And there we go. I would recommend using one of these support bolts. Just chuck it on now. Make sure that the bottle is centered and tighten it up because you will, it will require a bit of force to push that on and I'd imagine you'll be going around in circles as the bottle moves around. I'm going to tighten that bolt up for firm. Nice and solid guys. Not too tight and crack the plastic. Now, for start, just to start, chuck that bottom hose back in that support clip there. Grab your top hose, wiggle it on. You can see how I'm kind of massaging it on. Set your pliers up to wide mode again. Grab your wide hose clamp, bring it up forward, reposition, squeeze again, and try and put the alligator side of the clip to the side. That's firm, guys. Your last bolt on the side here. Nice and firm. And voila, job complete. Now the next step is to fill it up with coolant or water. I prefer water. You should only need maybe a litre or so really just to replenish what was lost in that bottle there. On the side of this bottle, you'll notice there is a low or an L and a full or an F indication on the bottle. Now that marking is actually when the car is running and up to operating temperature. But feel free to overfill this bottle now. The car will actually, the water pump will actually suck the water through into the engine, and you'll notice that drops again. You may need to top that up in the in the near future, maybe after a day or so. I would recommend running it for five minutes to allow it to get to operating temperature. Easy one, right? That's the type of job that by doing it yourself, you can, spend, you can save hundreds of dollars on installation fees and costs. Now, if you're interested in this car part, feel free to check this part out at www.partsfactoryoz.com.au. Now, I've allowed the coolant to suck through into the engine and I've actually topped up the overflow bottle a little bit back up to just above the full mark. Now my name's Lucas Drabsch and thanks for checking out another parts factory installation video. If you have any questions or concerns, you're always welcome to come and talk to me on the live chat on the website. I have advice, tips, tricks, extensive knowledge about cars and car parts, so if there's any questions at all, absolutely at any time feel free to come and say hello. Catch you next time guys.